How you doing? What's up guys? I'm gonna spit my gum out. Let's get down to it. Now I did a video on this uh, beard straightening brush and I'm going to link this down below but I'm gonna put a few separate links because last time I linked this brush it was at 20 bucks and they raised it to like 40 bucks just because everybody was buying it. So I'll provide like three or four links for like the exact same brush. They're literally just like brushes made in China um, with different branding on them and maybe a different style button, but they're all very, very similar. Damn hat around. Okay, so I've been doing a little bit of research, a little bit of Googling as they say, and I found out a few things about using these brushes. I'm gonna give you three tips plus one little cool hack that I've figured out myself. Um, as far as using these brushes. And number one, most important, uh, something a lot of people brought up in the comments that I didn't even think about at the time, um, was the heat, like how you're damaging your hair. If I'm gonna blow dry my beard, or how I used to do it before I found these, I would take something like this, this argan oil heat shield, and that would protect the hair from being damaged. And the reason it's argan oil is because argan oil has a very, very high smoke point or whatever they call it, like burn point. So you can't, you don't wanna just use regular like beard oil on your beard and get it beard oiled up and then do it you want to use um, something like this with argan oil or just use straight argan oil, I believe, um, because it has a very high smoke point or burn point. Um, and the thing is when an oil is in your beard and then you burn it, it damages everything. So you don't want that. So the burn point of argan oil is like 400 and something degrees. I don't know exactly, but it's pretty high up there. It's one of the higher of the essential oils. And so when I'm turning this on, let's turn it on. All right, it's on. It's at 4, 4, is it 410, now it's at 450. Now it's at 30, 3 something, 340. And 380 is like the middle ground where I pretty much use it. Now I'm gonna link this down below. This, it came with this set of like uh, beard wash and conditioner that I used to use a lot. It's actually really good stuff. Um, but it comes with this thermal shield, but you can buy it by itself and I'll link it down below. It literally just comes out as a spray. Like that makes it easy to put in. Probably want to evenly distribute it a little bit like that through the beard and it's heated up. Okay, so now there is there is a somewhat scary aspect to using this and you'll you'll hear it when, when I put this through my beard. You hear that? It's scary, but all it is is because there's moisture coming into contact with heat really. You of course don't want to let it sit there and roast. There we go, and we're just going straight down the sides, not spending too long lingering anywhere. And now this brings me to my second tip, which is you don't want to overuse this thing. Um, you don't want it to become a crutch to where you need it all, you feel like you need it all the time. In an ideal situation, your beard routine is just literally waking up and putting some oil or balm in your beard and it's good to go. That happens a lot more frequently if you're using co-wash and, and conditioning washing your beard like every day with the Scotch Porter that's in my shower. Um, like stuff like that, which is what I use. Also, if you look, you can see pictures of guys with beards that are like really straight and it's like unnatural looking. You don't want it to become like a regular, like a girl strand of hair on your face. You want it to have some depth and texture to your beard. I mean, just in my opinion. I think this looks pretty good, but if I go, ev but if I go farther with it and make him really, really straight, then it looks a little bit um, unreal, like a little bit weird. I only use a straightening brush. Um, if I'm in a super hurry, um, or if the beard is just a little bit messed up and it can use a little touch, I just heat it up real quick, takes like 10 seconds, and I just brush it out real quick, and it's good. I don't make a habit of using it all the time. And number three, I think I messed up in the beginning, I said three tips and one hack. I'm giving you two tips and one hack. I mean, it's all tips, um, but one is this cool little idea I had, and it worked pretty well. I don't know if it'll work now that I've done this, um, but if you look, there's you can see like little indents and curls in the beard. Like you know how you get under your jawline, you get that. Um, the first time I used this, I didn't get that. The first time when I used it on video, um, last video, uh, I didn't get that. It just, the hair went straight. But now I've realized that it does it a little bit more often, to, similar to the hair dryer, where if you're brushing it out too much, it um, it it divots in at the end of the uh, at the end of the jaw. So a cool technique I've learned to get rid of that little curl is what you do instead of going down with it like this, you take it and you're gonna brush against. You're holding your beard under here like this and you're brushing through it like this. Hopefully it'll work after I've already done the straightening that way, I don't know. Usually I just do it this way in the be in to begin with. But what I do, I take it and I just brush it that way backwards, like that. And what it's doing is it's still straightening the beard. But it doesn't give you that curl point at the end of your jaw because you're not brushing down into it. And at the end, see it right here? Then at the end, you just kind of shake it out. 
and go like that. And it pretty much took those curls out, but it also went out a little bit further. So something you can do to counteract that is just take a cant comb like this, comb it in like that and kind of wrangle the beard in like that. And that's pretty good right there. I don't see the, I don't really see the curls. So that's my little hack on how to use it. I need to trim this damn beard. It's getting too long. You guys hit thumbs up right now. Take a second to hit thumbs up. I appreciate you coming and watching the video. Hit thumbs up right now to show me that you love me and you really care about me and my beard and my family and my life and everything that is involved with me. <laughs> Leave a comment down below. I can't guarantee that I'll answer it. I'm not very good at answering comments. There's so many of them. And then if you like this content, if you have a beard or anything like that, hit subscribe button because I got a lot of great beard content I've already filmed and a lot of great beard ton and a lot of great beard content coming in the future. You can follow me on Instagram if you want. It's official beard tube. Um, I just post random stuff about me and beard stuff on there once in a while, nothing crazy, but you feel free to go follow it. All right, and that is the end of the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Stay bearded. Bye.